Uh, welcome again to Sommelier LP AMAs. LP stands for liquidity provider. And these are the AMAs that if you're a liquidity provider, you want alpha, you want to be in this, you want to be listening to this. And today is June 11th. Um, and my name is Tarek and I uh, am with Sommelier and Volumefy and you can find us at sommelier.finance. My guest and rock star today is Munir from Paraswap, and it's paraswap.io. Did I get it right? Yeah, exactly. Awesome. <laughs> Got it. And uh, uh, we, Munir is uh, the first host uh, and guest, sorry, I'm the host, first guest uh, for us from uh, an exchange. And we were really excited, well, second, because we had Michael Igora from Curve, but more of an aggregator type exchange as opposed to Curve as an AMM. Uh, we consider, uh, you know, Paraswap sort of like an aggregator. And I think Manu is going to give me a description. But what I want you to do and take away from this event is going to be 20 minutes. You get to ask questions. Uh, please come see us on Twitter. And what we want you to do is you're going to look out and, and listen for some alpha because Paraswap is doing some really cool things for LPs. And if you haven't used Paraswap.io uh, as yet, please go there now and take a look. So Manir, welcome and a pleasure to have you with us. Thanks, Eric. Uh, very happy to be here. All right. Well, let's jump into it. Munir, tell us about Paraswap. Uh, you guys have been on a tier, been doing some cool things. Uh, what is Paraswap? Why should LPs care? Yes, yeah, exactly as you described, is a DEX aggregator, or uh, more broadly speaking, is a liquidity aggregator. So we're connected to decentralized exchanges, uh, lending protocol, any uh, place or any contract that has liquidity can be integrated into Paraswap. So things like uh, wrapping your DAI into Aave or to generate interest, that's something that can be done on Paraswap or rebalancing of portfolio, like going from a compound that's making a 5% to an Aave that's making a 7%. This can be done also through Paraswap uh, in order to uh, what we call in traditional finance, best execution. Uh, so that's what we do but only in a context of decentralized finance. Uh, and that nobody has control over the funds and things happen atomically, which means the transaction will either fully succeed or fully revert. How would you guys differ from say a one inch or a match at XYZ? So first of all, the, the, I would say the position we have taken since day one is to build an API first product and have the UI as the first power user. Uh, if you look at others, uh -huh. they either have a UI product and the even API on the side or a yeah. completely two different products. So for us, for instance, yeah. when we launched in Polygon or BSC, uh, it yeah. was available that day, that time on the API, while yeah. what we see in others, they launched in Polygon and two weeks later, you would see the API. For us, it was it's <laughs> just like the API was there and then right. the UI will follow as other UI. So, that approach we think is, um, I mean, it's, anyways, it's our approach and we think is more uh, sustainable in the long term because uh, I would say UIs in DeFi are being commoditized and not defensible because anyone can, like, is, is a click away from, from a UI to the other. But yeah. we think the value we can bring is to other dApps that can use us and can and no, don't need to worry about this whole complexity that is behind decentralized exchanges and lending protocols and so on. Okay, uh, first of all, I want to say that is genius. It's not uh, just uh, 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 an innovative approach, but a genius approach. Um, and, and if you were to take a step back and think, when was it, what was the moment that that was aha moment that, listen, an API for the DEX is, is a killer feature. Is there a particular moment that, that it happened for you or were you guys doing something before that, that sort of revealed that this was just a massive opportunity? Well, it's funny because when we launched, it was June 2019, almost two, two years ago, we launched with a UI only approach. Like the idea was to create a simplified way to access decentralized exchanges so that yeah. anyone can use them and any Coinbase user can use those DEXs, which was right. a very naive approach. I mean, in yeah. 2019, even though it's only two years ago, but it's like forever in, in DeFi and crypto. So at right. that time, it, the liquidity wasn't that significant anyways but also a lot of barrier to entry, which still exists right now, but I mean, the, the audience wasn't just there. So it took us like a month and a half to, mm -hmm. to decide that this is not the right approach. 
and yep. to pivot into a different product that is first of all made for the DeFi community. So our target yep. users were DeFi Digens and yep. the API approach was built in from day one. So the idea was yeah. that it's not only for uh, users who will go to our UI, but for mm -hmm. other dApps that will use this uh, for their own uh, use case. That's excellent. Uh, one of the things uh, we've noticed when you say built for DGENs, um, at Sommelier, we have just been doing some analysis on you know, the cohorts of DGENs that uh, you know, uh, ape into, into uh, liquidity pairing. And we find that uh, you know, there are small DGENs, there's the middle DGENs, and then there's the big whales. But the big whales do such big volume and the DGENs are so many of them, you know, or the small players, there's so many of them, they're not DGEN, they're all DGEN, but the small players are so many, they do smaller volumes. What's your view when you think of PowerSwap's, you know, user profile um, and you describe it as DGENs? Do you guys have a lot of big uh, whales, a few big whales and a lot of small players? Like what, what does your distribution look like? Yeah, it's uh, uh, well, it depends on are we talking about Ethereum or sidechains? So, for instance, for ah, Ethereum, nice. that's mm -hmm. a big difference. For instance, Ethereum, what we've worse been seeing recently uh, is the average transaction volume is around 200 and sometimes some weeks 300k uh, yep. per transaction. Uh, but in in Polygon, it's about uh, five to ten thousand, depending on which yeah, time you're, you're looking at it. I mean, it's a bit volatile. But right. uh, yeah, I mean, in, in Polygon, you can even do transactions of $10 and it's yeah. going to be like free. It's, it's really, really cheap. Uh, yeah. So, and, but that's the UI uh, we're talking right. about. On the API, yep. we're agnostic. I mean, uh, it's also up to the other UIs to, to depend. I mean, like you have, for instance, Argent's wallet, who is a pure retail app. Uh, same yep. with MetaMask, where we see uh, five, six, seven dollar tra tra average transaction. So it yep. depends. The idea is to have an agnostic product. So on yep. Ethereum, we are targeting big whales. This is our yes. target users because yes. we don't need to um, have uh, tens of thousands of users in order to make a uh, large volume. So if you see yes. uh, recently, we went for uh, over 100 million a day in Ethereum only. And that was made by say 20% of the users. Yeah, thanks. Wow. So, Congratulations. Yeah, so. uh, okay, hold on. Let's slow down and let's just review that number again so that, you know, we could just make sure we don't miss it. You just said 100 million a day, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been around 200 <laughs> if you combine, if you combine uh, Polygon and Ethereum. Wait, you just raised the number. <laughs> like, well, it's, it's around 200. <laughs> I'll, I won't say three hundred. That's all. <laughs> I want to say three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> just yeah, round it up, right. half a billion. Yeah. Let's just round it up. Well, yeah. so, so, but but it really is a testament to your team. Um, how big is your team working at PowerSwap right now? So right now we are still hiring, but right now we are twelve in the tech team, uh, and the team is like ninety percent technical. I'm still writing some code in in the production. Um, yeah. yeah, it's twelve people. Uh, you can yes. see that say that we are understaffed, which is which is true, but we yeah. are try to be very creative uh, with what we're doing. Uh, that we are focused on the most important things. Paris uh, a year ago, it was uh, one person doing the whole thing, so yeah. it's just like 12, 12 people, twelve one multiplied by twelve. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's doing doing a, we're doing a lot of things, and we yeah. notice when we speak about it between us. We're always under stress that yeah, we have to do this, this, and that. But right. yeah, overall, it's uh, it's very good. We do it very good. Yeah. It's excellent. It's excellent. Uh, one of the things um, we at Similia have noticed is that we've launched um, with a with an eye to really helping uh, LPs on Uniswap v3 because Uniswap v3 has been so difficult. What has been the power swap perspective of Uniswap v3 and and how you guys approached it? Um, I like the units of V3. I think um, uh, that's personal. That units of V3 is more uh, optimized for layer twos. Uh, mm -hmm. Right now, it's working. It's working well. Like if you look at the liquidity and volumes, uh, it's almost uh, 50 50 percent, if not maybe more, on the units of V3. And I mm -hmm. think maybe that's a sign that we have again big whales who uh, enter the space and mm -hmm. or more professional uh, liquidity providers yes. who who yes. are who are uh, operating now those those pools mm -hmm. but i think um, 
I think Uniswap V3 can still be used as a Uniswap V2 if, like you said, a large, like a broad, uh, broad ranges. But mm -hmm. uh, this customize customizability, I don't know to say the world, uh, yeah, good. encourages more more professional liquidity to to come into the space, which I think right. you say is a good thing. Good, good, good. Uh, and do, have you seen more professional liquidity coming into the space since uh, Uniswap V3 from your vantage point of PowerSwap? Yeah, I mean, it's been the case, uh, not, I mean, it's not recent. Now we see more capital and also those uh, uh, traders who are able to raise more funds and also deploy yeah. more capital to, to those pools. Uh, right. Even in Parasoc, we put a bet on professional liquidity since early last year. So we have okay. a set of market makers operating a uh, what you call Parasoc pool which is oh, wow. uh, cool. which is uh, like a mix between RFQ and other book model where yeah. market makers will quote uh, the users uh, through either an RFQ or an older book, like an internal older book to them. Yep. And yep. Uh, that's helped us on becoming much, much more competitive than many other competitors. And mm -hmm. also the quality of the execution is very high because uh, mm -hmm. the market makers will commit to a trade. It's like an yep. RFQ or OTC, OTC system. And yep. there is no slippage. The transaction yep. will be, or the price will be locked for two minutes. As long as yep. it feels within that time frame, the user has a guarantee that they will receive the, that price. So that's, that's I would say, a bet. Even though maybe DeFi is about opening up uh, the liquidity providing to everyone, which is yep. still true. I mean, any swap, any, any swap, anyone can go there and can provide liquidity. But I think there should be a balance. And here, the balance on professional that can also bring more efficiency to the space. That's excellent. Uh, is it you? You know, you you speak very clearly about order execution, low slippage, uh, and even a dark pool. Um, I is it is it that true that you're operating a dark pool at PowerSwap? Is is that what I would I consider that a dark pool uh, in in terms of what you guys have innovated? And and if so, if not, great. But if so. Uh, do you have, it seems like you have deep finance expertise in, in your execution in DeFi. Is that something that you had before? And, um, you know, how, and if not, or how did you continue to bring it to, to DeFi? So it looks a little bit like a dark pool, but it's not because all the trading execution is happening on chain is happening peer to peer. So we don't, we're not involved in the execution. We just yep. uh, gather prices from market makers and yep. the same way from DEXs and uh, market makers, they have no advantage uh, compared to an AMM, uh, maybe in the future, but for the sake of the best execution again for the end user, because yep. you would take, um, right now we add weights into pricing for gas. We may yep. in, the, in the future add weight for quality between codes, which means wow. maybe you will get a better price for Uniswap, but you will get a dollar less here but this is guaranteed. So which one would you choose? That's uh, that's one of the ideas we're, we're evaluating right now. Um, but yeah, it's won't call it really a dark pool, but there are some characteristics that are, that are closer. But yeah, the execution is fully, fully, fully peer to peer. We don't have any any financial, uh, financial I, would, I would say I learned finance through crypto as many, many people in the space. And uh, we all we are all uh, technical. Okay, we have a technical background, and we learn that from what we've learned from crypto that led us to learn uh, on how financial market works to build Paraswap and make it evolve and so on. But yeah, we don't have really uh, any formal formal education or experience before. No, uh, that's uh, you, you speak as if you've been working uh, on the on the decks of Goldman Sachs's prime brokerage for quite some time. So, so congratulations. <laughs> Uh, that, yeah, uh, <laughs> I couldn't tell that you hadn't worked on Wall Street. Um, uh, and and I guess uh, let's talk about community. You know, uh, Paraswap has an, a super active community. Uh, congratulations. Uh, what's your community like uh, and, and how do you guys into, engage with the community? And of course, is there a Paraswap token? So mostly people are in Telegram right now. We have a Discord. Uh, we don't push it as much uh, as we should be, maybe, but it's also more efficient because uh, right now, it's only the few team members uh, who participate in community, and they have a lot of things to do on the uh, yeah on our daily daily work. So Discord can be a bit distracting. So we sometimes send some people to Discord, but most of the people are in Telegram, and it's been amazing since uh, early this year. Uh, the number of uh, the, I mean the community size has grown significantly, and also the engagements. And we haven't seen that engagements uh, before. It's impressive. Sometimes it's like uh, 6 a.m. in the morning. I cannot reply to a message 
I wake up and I see many people who replied and helped and did their best. It's really, really cool. So I really thank them, thank them for that. It's it's really amazing right. what they're yep. what they're doing. Um, right now we don't have any token to to answer many uh, recurrent questions we we got also on Telegram. Uh, mm -hmm. At least right now, maybe in the future, uh, we and we said before that yes, it will be, but we don't want to talk about it too much because. It's, we don't have any dates right now and it's going to be distracting but the point of us having a token is a pure decentralization at some points we need to be able to raise our hands and have this thing working uh, and uh, monitored and handled by fully by the community uh, yeah. which is a bit hard in our context because we simply run a backend and to decentralize the backend it's not something that can be done overnight uh, the good news is that there are other projects who did it, like uh, the graph, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and yeah. that's a nice model to be inspired from. But here we're talking about a multi-year project uh, that will be done at some point for sure. And uh, when the token will launch, we don't know. So the famous uh, when token, uh, we yeah, don't have yeah. an answer. We even created a Discord channel for that, so people can, <laughs> that's right. can even that's ask right. questions. So, but we don't have any dates right now, so that we 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 can't we can't commit to something. All right, no, totally understood. Okay, uh, let's uh, you know. Um, I think we're going to see if there's any questions. Um, I don't think we have any big questions right now. Uh, Mario's check in. But um, let's talk about, you know, again, something I promised, secret alpha, some, some nice advanced alpha for folks who are, you know, both in the PowerSwap community and in the Sumilia community. Munir, do you have any alpha for us? Anything that we should know that will happen in the next week or so, that if we're listening, we should take care either to engage, look, and, or act, <laughs> that you feel good to share um i don't have something like really exciting but uh, maybe, maybe i shouldn't have said that i should have just say, said what i have yeah 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 okay okay yeah i, I mean uh, i mean we're rolling up new chains uh, that's uh, that's something that is coming yeah uh, are you a, are you an arbitrum are you an arbitrum are you working not on yet no not yet. okay the thing is okay. for us we need to have already liquidity that is a yes. project with liquidity so that we can make sense arbitrum yes. will have uniswap in curve that's i think yes. for sure and Correct. once they are launched and once they have sufficient liquidity this is where we're gonna make sense um so that's okay. one we're on new chains but the cool things uh, that we will announce is uh, running on a zk roll up uh that mm -hmm. will be the one of the major uh releases this year uh on also being the first dex on zk sync that will be wow you guys are gonna be the cool. first dex on zk sync yeah. okay very yeah. cool uh, that's, and, uh and we are, yeah yeah i think uh we've been looking at zk sync as well they've been working very hard and we've heard good things about zk sync so uh glad to see more validation for successful uh, DEXs and leaders heading over there. So, so, so well shared. And I think that's some good alpha. So, uh, you know, LP should be aware, you know, that PowerSwap will be there. And if they're there, you, you may definitely may want to get there as well. Uh, all right. Um, let me see. In terms of, you know, we're heading into the, you know, vision of PowerSwap. Um, where does it go from here? Uh, question for you is, uh, you know, you, you know, where does PowerSwap end up at the end of 2021? Um, of course, large volumes given, um, more success a given. Um, is there a particular vision you have for PowerSwap that you will say, hey, you know, going into 2022, this is what we might look like, and, and this is what you know, LPs particularly, liquidity providers, professional uh, and institutional, should be thinking of when when they think of PowerSwap. I would say uh, what I would love to have uh, till the end of the year. It's hard to 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 be sure one hundred percent because many there are many moving parts. Is yep. to put the early steps of decentralization. Uh, that's something we want. There are, we have many ideas uh, that we're working on right now, but yep. we want to have a major stop step. Sorry, into decentralization. An example yep. it would be uh, right now when we integrate a new DEX. It's us as a team who decide to integrate this DEX and who do the work. So we are thinking of a modular system, something that looks a little bit like the graph, where project can themselves integrate the DEX uh, as if you would do a graph, uh, as a, you would do a subgraph, so that it's okay. available from there. And it can be something that we go through a community or something like that. 
so that's one. We're not sure, but this is one of the things we would love to have. Um, it's first of all more scalable because yeah. what happens right now, we have taxes will come to us for integration. So they have to wait for us for our availability to do it. So it's not right. good for them. And it's not yep. great for our users because they also have to wait for us. So everyone is waiting for us. That will make things much more scalable. So it's great for, for all parties. Um, that's, I would say, one of the major things we would love to do for the liquidity uh, as well uh, on Parasoft pool. So right now, market makers, they bring their own liquidity. It's only them. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. The, I would say the barriers to entry are very high. So you yeah. need to know how to operate a server, you need to know how to operate, uh, I would say, do pricing, like you uh, have yeah. financial, solid financial skills so that you won't do bad pricing for, for tokens. Um, yeah. But we, what we notice is that there are many clever people who have only the latter or the first, uh, yeah. and we can create a platform that can help them meet. And uh, for instance, uh, you have uh, funds, uh, and instead of putting them to Uniswap, you would invest on a trader, and that's mm -hmm. something that can be done using Enzyme or uh, the previously Melon protocol. So yeah, that's you right. will be a trader on Melon protocol. And yeah. right now, you can trade on Parasop if you're Enzyme. They integrated our yeah. API, but yeah, you can yeah. also become market maker. Wait, hold on a second. That's pretty cool. Whoa, whoa, that's yeah. that's pretty huge. That's some. That's also a new 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 thing we didn't cover. So yeah. so let's walk through that very slowly before we. We, we move off of it. It's you can be a trader on Enzyme, right? Uh, and essentially, the value proposition for Enzyme is how would you describe it? So Enzyme, it's like a, a framework or infrastructure for asset management. It can be it. anything. So, it can yeah. be you yeah. would you would literally uh, invest on a trader or an asset yep. manager, how they call it, yep. and yep. they will give you a return. Uh, yes. And the, the difference between uh, trust in your banker or any yeah. bank institution is that you, everything yeah. is transparent. You can see everything they are doing and you can e even see the parameters they have set up so that they yes. know what is allowed, what is not allowed. And yes. here the idea is to also add a plugin or a module that is Paraswap market yeah. making. Now, now there is yeah. Paraswap trading. So those traders yes. can trade on Paraswap, they can trade on Uniswap and so on. And here the idea is to trade also between quote, against the users of Paraswap. Like you provide right. uh, pricing to a coach to the users of Paraswap. Uh, so that's if if done, if finished. Uh, we haven't even started now, I'll tell you, that's just, just the uh, raw idea. Uh, it will be, <laughs> it will alpha. be. That's the alpha. <laughs> exactly, yeah. It will help a lot of users uh, provide yeah. liquidity otherwise. So right yes. now they would put liquidity on Uniswap and expect yes. the Uniswap algorithm to to give them a return or like yes. an impermanent loss but yes. here they are putting i would say more um i mean yeah they are investing on a trader who will bring i would say more custom uh, strategies trading strategies yeah. and yeah. Uh, they will invest based on track records and based on performance of that, of that person so it's a different reasoning it's a, i would yeah. say it's maybe good for some people who want to have like a balancing of their strategy Yes, yes, excellent, excellent. Well, uh, I think that is an excellent new innovation and uh, I can't wait to see the alpha uh, the liquidity providers both at Simili and at Paraswap can capture from actually participating and, and engaging with this new feature. All right, I think uh, Munir, I think we're we're good. Um, and wow, we're, we're just up on time. Uh, I wanna say, first of all, thank you very much uh, for joining us uh, and you know, congratulations to you and the Paraswap team. I know that you work hard. I, I sit in your Telegram and I see the, the, the array of questions and of usage. Um, to have that demand without a token is also indicative that you've created something very valuable. And um, we at Similia, you know, congratulate you. And of course, we'd love to find ways to continue to partner up. Um, and so we'll be looking at how you guys continue to launch and these features. Uh, and hopefully uh, we can do something as well, add some more value uh, to the PowerSwap ecosystem in the future. Awesome, yeah, it was uh, great uh, being with you. I didn't notice the time. I thought it was like uh, 15 minutes. But that's, <laughs> I know, it's really amazing. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Okay, <laughs> we were nice, very fast. Nice being here. Thanks, Tariq. Pleasure as well. Have a great weekend. Yes, you too. Bye. Cheers. Bye bye.